Talk about side missions right now. Playboy Cardi is making a lot of side missions. Playboy Cardi is a goat in my opinion. And he, he you know, just started a brand new label called Opium. He's artists like Ken Carson and Destroy Lonely. And one of his really fire artists in the underground, Destroy Lonely, officially surpasses 2 million Spotify monthly listeners. And Destroy Lonely right now, he's going up. He's going up Destroy Lonely. So I think that's a huge W for Playboy Cardi and Destroy Lonely and the whole Opium label. Right now, King Carson only has 1.4 million monthly listeners. And Destroy Lonely had just started popping recently. For a long time, it was Ken Carson was just absolutely the top artist in Opium. But now Destroy Lonely, Destroy Lonely passes 2 million Spotify monthly listeners. Main Raja says, I like the Dawn Taller features, but other than that, that's kind of it. Yeah, that's kind of what I was feeling too. Like, I just, I just think the Kid Cudi album was just super boring. And it's like, man, where's the bangers? Sounds like you're making a very artsy album when it's R&B and I think there's just too many expectations for the Kid Cudi album, man. And he only sold 22K first week and that's a flop. Oh God. Main Razzie says you should definitely watch the movie. Yeah, I'll be down to watch the Kid Cudi movie. Like, I hope it's better than the album. That's on God, man. Just kind of the animation, it was kind of like the Spider-Verse kind of animation I saw in the trailer. So, you know, that's a good idea. I think I actually may watch the, like the movie tonight. Another question, is it Kid Cudi album, Enter Galactic? Is it more of like a kid's movie or is it, is it like a normal movie, you know what I mean? Or is it kind of like modern? Like, is it like, it kind of looks like a kid's movie. That's kind of why I've been like, don't really want to watch this, but if it's fire, I'll watch it. You know what I'm saying? We had Destroy Lonely surpasses 2 million monthly listeners, and that's absolutely insane, man, for an underground artist. Someone says, now we need a collab album with King Carson. I think the Destroy Lonely and King Carson album will be super fire. If you guys have never seen, have never heard of Destroy Lonely, he makes music kind of like Playboy Cardi and Geet. He definitely has that kind of distorted, heavy synth sound. Main Razzy says, it's an adult cartoon or animation. Okay, if it's an adult kind of driven and it's kind of like, it's kind of chill, not super corny, like a kid movie, 100% check it out. So it looks like I'll be checking out Enter Galacta by Kid Cudi, the Netflix show. Let's hope it's better than the album. Someone says, Opium label over any, over any label. I think Opium has potential to be a, a humongous label. We just need Ken Carson to kind of pick up his game because he's been kind of making the same song over and over again but one thing i'll say about king carson his brand new project x was absolutely fire one of my favorites this year destroy lonely no stylus was pretty fire too it was just a really strong project and i really enjoyed it two million monthly listeners for an underground artist that's a huge w man and destroy lonely is a strong fan base and a very strong fan base driven with all the playbook cardi stamps so i think 2 million monthly listeners for Destroy Lonely, the humongous W. W for Cardi, W for King Carson. W is for Destroy Lonely, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, OPM is definitely up next when it comes to labels, if you know what I'm saying. 